I'm going to attempt a starting room challenge on every single Black Ops 1 Zombies map. Now, of course, we're starting out with Kino de Toten and we're playing as Richtofen as well. Oh, that's how you know it's going to be a good video. But yeah, starting room on every single map in BO1. So, of course, we only have the M14 and the Olympia over there. And then, of course, we've got Quick Revive. But, you, you know, it is what it is. We should be fine. I don't know about you guys, but do you actually like the really shiny looking M1911? Because to me, it can look a little bit unrealistic. But my theory behind it is, you know, it's like a factory new one from Germany at the time period. But who knows, dude? All right, we've got like one zombie left. Come on, you... Black Ops 1 is dark. I forgot how spooky it looks. But yeah, here we go. We've got the Olympia and the M14 now. Let me know down in the comments, are you an M14 or Olympia gang person? Because personally, I'm like, neither? Like, I, I think both are good guns, but I just like, I never go for either of them. I go into the next room and then get like, whatever's full auto pretty much. But yeah, Kino on Black Ops 1, I think it's definitely the best version. I know people like the Zombies Chronicles 1, but... To me, it's a little bit boring. Like, if I'm going to play Black Ops 3, I'd rather play something like Zetsubo or Dorizon, where it's very really unique. Oh, here we go. You the last one. Oh my god. <laughs> let's, let's not go down on round two. I think that would be a good start to this video, but let's pick up Quick Revive. How many maps are there on BO1? There's Kino 5, Ascension, Call of the Dead, Shang, and Moon. Okay, that's not too bad then. Now, I'm not going to count the World at War remakes on BO1 Zombies because I'm sort of saving that for like a, a World at War video. You know, I'd literally be replicating the exact same thing, so I thought it'd be best to just keep it to the BO1 original maps as I almost go down to a fucking headless zombie. Oh, a double points. That would be awesome if I actually needed it. Like, I feel like points are so redundant in this challenge. Oh, and an insta-kill. Nice. The classic. You get a double points, you instantly get an insta-kill. I swear to God, it happens every time, dude. Knife, knife, knife. Who knows? This video might end up being quite a long one, but we'll see. I'm not expecting to get past round 10 on any of these maps, to be honest, especially Call of the Dead. Oh my God. With George Romero, like I know you can get the packet punch in the spawn room, but I'm pretty sure you can't use it until you turn the power on anyway, so. Oh, a max ammo, nice. Oh, hello, where did you fucking come from? Oh, okay, that round four, baby. <laughs> oh my god, nice job, me. Got snuck up on by uh, the goon squad, I guess. I mean, we do get unlimited quick revives, so there is that. Oh my. Okay, we're not going to talk about what just happened. <laughs> Uh, just as I was talking about it being a long video, yeah. So now we're on five. <laughs> let's try and beat round four. Like, it's the fact there was a nuke. My brain was like, oh, yeah, let's rush to it and we can get it. That'll end the round, like, immediately. And I just fucking died. Brilliant job, me. But so playing five, I mean, honestly, I really like five. It's probably the most unique map on this entire game. I know you've got, like, Moon, where you're literally on the moon, of course. But it was, like, the first celebrity cast and crew. Well, I mean... They're not really celebrities, they're like impersonators, but the first different crew, it's set in the Pentagon, which is fucking awesome. And it had the first boss zombie ever, of course, the Pentagon Thief. And I'm kind of curious if we make it to a high enough round that we're going to see him, because that would be terrifying. Having to deal with the Pentagon Thief in the fucking top part of the map with just an M14 and an Olympia. Oh boy. Yeah, I just need to not be greedy. Let's use the uh, Olympia a little bit. Wait, no, I don't even have it. <laughs> oh my God. I've been up for like two hours. How am I this slow in the brain right now? There we go. Olympia time. Nice, solid one shot. Do a little reload, cancel, boom, that's round. So yeah, we only have this door open and that's it. We can't obviously open this door because this is a starting room challenge. I was thinking about like slightly bending the rules and making it so like, you know, you can go into the very small rooms to the side of the spawn, but nah, let's just keep it fully original. We have a decent chunk of like the map to train around here. It's not the worst in the world. Oh God, hello. We're already getting the fucking zombie. Oh my God, dude, can we not? <laughs> it's round three, dude. Kill out, headless zombies. This is why we use the M14, to be honest. Because you can spam it a little bit more. Oh, and it's right here as well, which is good for, uh, you know, buying ammo. What's this? A nuke? Honestly, I might save that for next round. Or, eh, what's the point, man? It's gonna run out. Okay, we're on round four now. Same as we were on Kino. Let's try and not go down this round. I know it's not gonna be the easiest challenge in the world, but Jesus. Man, I'm excited for Modern Warfare 3 zombies, and I'm also not. Because, like... You know, it's going to be similar to Outbreak and DMZ and whatever, and I never really cared that much for either modes. Outbreak was extremely passable for me, I just, I preferred other stuff. Cold War was a great zombies game, and like, I would have preferred if there was no zombies this year, to be honest. Like, I'd rather they just wait and 
put the extra time into um, the next Treyarch Zombies game they're working on, which, you know, is going to be presumably Cold War 2. Like, I'd much rather that, to be honest. It would just, it, it would be a bit better. Because Cold War was honestly a really good Zombies game. It's just the fact that, for me personally, the maps were a little bit of a letdown. Except for D-Machine, but that was because, like, it had a full two years or whatever to be worked on. The rest of them were just very, eh. The features of the maps, though, were pretty cool. Like, you know, the wonder weapons in, in Cold War were pretty sick. What's that? Inst oh, max ammo, okay. Not bad. Gotta be a little careful here, actually. Oh god, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Almost getting stuck. It's not exactly the easiest place in the world to train. Oh shit, I couldn't jump around him. The stupid desk was in the way, bro. Fine, we can spam this M1911 a little bit. Alright, here we go. We're fine, we're fine. Oh god. Ah! Give me a- what? Oh shit. Somehow he managed to survive that. Oh my god. Alright, we've got one zombie left. It gives us time. We can go and get more ammo. We can get- Quick revive. Let's buy more ammo as well. I like how when you buy ammo on BO1 zombies, it just like fully reloads your gun for you. Like it puts the ammo in the magazine for you. You don't have to reload, which is nice. Oh, what's up, zombie? Spawning in already, are we? I mean, we made it to round six. We're still yet to have a pentagon thief, which I'm not exactly going to complain about. Oh my god, dude, my gun is doing like no damage anymore. I know aim for the head and all, but I'm trying to kill them as fast as possible so we don't get fucking stuck again. Oh, a double points. You know, I was hoping for like an insta kill. That would have been really useful. Trying to train up here is not the easiest thing in the world, is it? Oh, balls. Oh, balls. We're fine. I swear I took two hits then. Oh, get out of the way. Oh my god, we're fine. Olympia. Oh, it's not even a one shot anymore. This is tragic. <laughs> okay, dude. I thought I ran past him, to be honest. Oh, it's fine. Okay, we've got a few zombies. Oh, good almighty. Okay, we're gonna have to go around here. Reload. I'm not sure which map we're gonna get to our highest round on in the starting room. Like, who knows? It could end up being five. We managed to make it to round seven. Let's go, dude. All right, buy ammo. See what I mean, though? Like, on the bottom right, I didn't have to reload then. And same for the Olympia here. On our last quick revive. Oh, yep, I hear it. There it goes. Bye, quick revive. <laughs> oh, shit. And it's taking like five shots to kill a zombie with the M14 now, which is just not ideal. I'd throw some grenades, but to be honest... Oh, my God, what's that? Insta-kill? Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's huge. Okay, this is like a ticket for this round, honestly. Oh, if I can just not go down on an insta-kill, that would be nice. Hip fire isn't exactly the greatest in the world. Okay, just a few more this round. All right, that's the insta done. You know, we're not doing too bad. We've got almost 120 kills. I think, are you the last zombie as well? Not, oh yeah, you are. Let's go, dude. Okay, round eight. I can't believe we got double the round we did on on Kino on five. Like, that's just absurd. <laughs> to be fair, you know, very dumbed down. Not going to excuse that, but oh shit. Oh my God. Guy just like dodged all my bullets. I was trying to think of what the strat might be. I mean, we want to ideally run them around a bit more before we start shooting into them, but trying to train in such a fucking tight space is difficult. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit, balls. Yeah, th this is what I mean, dude. It's so difficult. Oh well, we got Mustang and Sally spam a little bit. Okay. Oh, hello. Instantly spawn right next to you. I'm going to die in the same spot. Nope, I'm fine. All right, these might actually be the last few zombies. If we could just, like, train them around here. Oh, God, the lack of damage is is quite pitiful. Please! Oh, there we go. Oh, is that a death machine? Oh, my God. I kind of want to save that for next round. Oh, and a nuke. Oh, my God, massive. That's actually massive, dude. I was not expecting this to go so well. What the fuck? I mean, round nine, I would consider that a pretty high round for a starting room. Right, let's get this death machine now. And we're just going to sit in this fucking corner. Absolutely obliterate the zombies as they come through. Oh, it's gonna run out soon. No, don't run out. Oh, damn it. Well, it, we, made, we made good use of it. 163 kills, not bad at all. Oh, sh I completely got stuck on one zombie. You know, that wasn't bad at all. All right, we're onto Ascension now. Looks like we're playing as Nikolai, judging by the, uh, the gloves. Could I get that M14 immediately? Oh no, I'm playing as Takio, never mind. So yeah, this starting room is going to be interesting because of course we have the Cosma drone here, which we can use this to kill the zombies, but at the same time, we also might just totally go down to it. I've barely played much of Ascension. I know before I got a PC, I don't think I played Ascension at all on Xbox when I had BO1 back in the day, just because I didn't pay for the DLC. So Zombo. All right, let's go ahead and get our Olympia. Oh, here we go. 
Spinny time. Hey, it's such a cool trap though. All right, here we go. One knife, two knife. It gives us plenty of warning when it's about to go off anyway, so it should be fine. I wonder, are we going to get monkeys? I don't think we are because, well, we're in the spawn room. I don't think they start spawning it until we turn the power on, right? That's what's interesting about a lot of BO1 zombies maps is there's so much stuff that just doesn't happen until you turn on power. Like on Kino, you don't get the Nova Crawlers until power gets turned on. Whoa, you see that zombie just sidestep? What the fuck? Was it this map that introduced for sidestepping? Because I know, I remember reading something about that. They tried to make them a bit more intelligent. It's quite intriguing. The only bad thing about Ascension is I'm probably not going to put it in my thumbnail because like, come on dude, it's black and white. It's, it's not going to be the most appealing to look at. But it is quite a cool feature that, you know, you, you have to turn on power to get the color. And it does make the hood stand out quite a lot as well. Like the white and the red contrast is really nice. So yeah, who knows what round we'll get to on this one. In theory, this should be the easiest starting room out of all of them because it's like the biggest. But then again, I'm also ex inexperienced with Ascension and Black Ops 1 Zombies is not my best. I am very much a BO2 and BO3 player. Like that's, those are just the most played Zombies games on any Call of Duty for me. So in a way, it's kind of nice playing this because I want to get more used to the older games. Like even World at War, I played a lot of World at War, like the campaign. because so I love those missions. Like, you know, when you go through the swamps with the flamethrower and shit, that was just so cool. But in terms of zombies, you know, I played um, all the World of War Zombies maps on other games like on BO1's remaster for DLC 4. Also, the M14 is in such a good spot again. Like right where we're going to be probably training up is going to be here. We could just run up to that wall, buy ammo, easy peasy. Let's use some more Olympia. What's up, dude? Oh, it's just... I don't mind the Olympia, but I prefer it when it's pack-a-punched. Like, the fact it doesn't even one-shot as a shotgun on round 4, if you miss a singular pellet, and it's pretty easy to miss them because the, as you can see from the crosshair, like, it's pretty wide. Oh, a death machine. Not bad. See if we can end the round in time. Nope, because there's one upstairs. God damn it. There's always one upstairs. What's up, dude? All right, I got to pick it up. About to run out. It's fine, though. We could just sit in this corner with the death machine. Like, this is our golden ticket, basically, if you want to get a high-ish round. Like, the fact we got nine on five was pretty good. So confusing saying the numbers. Nine on five. Like, literally, there's two maps called numbers. I want to play 9 again on BO4. It's been a while since I've played that map. I'm curious, what are your guys' least favorite zombies games? Not including Vanguard, because I mean, if it was including Vanguard, we'd all say Vanguard. But what do you think is the worst out of like Cold War, World at War, BO1, BO2, BO3, BO4? And you can include non-Treyarch as well, like Infinite Warfare, World War II, you know, etc, etc, etc. Just kind of wondering. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> he just like strafed into me. What was that? Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, I wanted to try this kind of video out because, I don't know, you guys always mentioned that you prefer to see longer videos, so this is an easy way for me to do it. I've done every Zombies game videos before in the past, like pack a punch on every BO1 Zombies map, BO2, Chronicles, etc. So why not try something a little bit different, but still similar? What are we on now? Round six. Okay, not too bad. Oh, a nuke. I'm just going to get that immediately. I ain't taking no risks. Oh, and we got an insta-kill, dude. Amazing. Drops are the key to spawn room challenges. Ideally, I'd want to save it for another round, but you and you over there. I see you. You're the last one. Nope, it's you. Hello. Nope, again, it's not. I, I try and predict which zombie is the last zombie, and I swear to God, I always just get it wrong. There we go. That, that was the last one. About seven zombies later, dude. Even though I'm, like, a bit skeptical about Modern Warfare 3 zombies, I'm still gonna buy it just so I can, like, recommend to you guys whether or not you should get it. So as soon as the game comes out, be sure to check out my channel. Stay subscribed and turn on notifications if you want to check out the latest zombies content. But we shall see, dude, because... It could end up being kind of decent. It could end up being really shit. Either way, I want to be the one to tell you whether or not to buy it. Because if it does suck, hello. It dropped on my face. If it does suck, then I don't want you wasting 80 bucks or whatever the fuck it is nowadays. I can't believe I just got shit on like that. I completely forgot the zombies dropped down from the bloody ceiling. So, got to keep that in mind. Oh god, this isn't good. I just got instantly double slapped, bro. Oh, well, not bad. We've reached 100 kills as well. Okay, we're on Call of the Dead now. Let's go. This should be quite interesting. I'm figuring that this might actually be the hardest starting room challenge. Just because of this boy right here, George Romero. Trying to train around with him here, and if we accidentally shoot him, he starts sprinting towards us, and then we're just, we're just dead, pretty much. And both of our war weapons are on this tight, like, bridge here. 
which is not the easiest. We do have a quick revive in the spawn, of course. Like, uh, we're not completely screwed. But yeah, it's going to be challenging. Hey, zombies, how's it going? We're definitely not going to have enough damage to put into him to get, like, a bonus perk or anything, that's for sure. Let's go and buy quick revive as soon as possible, though, because having to run through the ice isn't exactly the safest thing in the world, is it? Oh, God, hello. Zombies spawning in the goddamn ground. Pick up that Olympia immediately. I absolutely love Call of the Dead. Similar to, like, Shangri-La, I didn't actually play Call of the Dead until the remaster was out. And the remaster for this map obviously came out in uh, very early 2023. Oh, shit, I shot him. Ah, fuck, I'm sorry, George. Or did it come out on, like, the last day of December? I, I can't remember, actually. But yeah, I played the remake first, and it was a lot of fun, as you could probably tell from my videos on the map. Now, I know there's a way to make your electric slap, like, not deal damage to you, but I've totally forgotten what it is, and I think we need some kind of a pack-a-punched gun for it anyway. Oh, my balls, dude. Ah, sorry, bro, I'm sorry. Jesus, he's so fucking angry. Holy shit, it's fine. Keep him over there. It also puts fog on the map, which is kind of disorienting. Yeah, Call of the Dead might actually be my favorite map on the entirety of BO1, despite George being a little bit of an annoying mechanic, but like, he kind of deserves to be. He is the god of zombies, you know, rest in peace, George Romero and everything. But yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. But then again, he is rewarding because of course he gives you the free perk if you manage to kill him. All right, we're on round four already. That round was quick as fuck, actually. What the hell? Hello, zombie peeking out the ground again. So many spawns in the starting room, actually. It's a bit difficult because trying to train around, you've got like, well, they could just spawn right in front of your feet, which wouldn't exactly be ideal, would it? The ice isn't really the best place to run through. Standing here isn't exactly ideal either. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess we can like drag them out here. Oh my God, an insta-kill. Oh, I want it. Okay, we're good. Just don't freeze. I love the frozen zombie models, though. I mean, they just explode like that. It's so cool. Try and shoot over his head. There we go. Round done. Oh, and he's brought the bloody fog back, of course. Oh, God, that was not enough to kill you. I might need to go and buy some more ammo, actually. Oh, that's Olympia. <laughs> Wrong gun. Right, get destroyed. Yeah, the headshot ratio of the M14 isn't bad at all. It's just um, when you're spraying it, you know, you start to lose accuracy a little bit. But, okay, this isn't, like, as difficult as I was originally thinking for this starting room. I mean, we got higher than Kino. I can't believe Kino's our lowest one. But, hey, that's what I love about these videos. Is everything is completely random. You have no idea what's going to happen. Sounds like I'm talking about a cause and effect video, but I'm not. <laughs> I would love to do cause and effect on BO1, man. Like, I wish... I don't know. Maybe they'll do a plutonium one. It'd be really cool. I'm going to get this nuke, even though I could totally save it. Pew, 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 pew. Keep saying pew. I'm not going to stop, dude. It, it is what it is. Like, I just can't help it now. Oh, George just screaming randomly. Oh, yeah, he speeds up the zombies. Like, do, now they're just sprinting. I love it. Make it more fucking difficult for me, bro. Trying to run away from them in the fucking water. Oh, my God, I can see what I'm doing. What a crazy concept, dude. Oh, hello. How's it going? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm just dead. Nope, I'm fine. Gotta try and... Oh, Jesus. See what I mean, dude? The fucking sprinters! Is it because the round's taking a bit longer? He just starts, like, speeding them all up? That's quite creepy. Phew! What's this? Max ammo. Don't mind if I do, actually, because I just ran out of ammo. I mean, you know, we have the points to buy it, but I appreciate the gesture. And that's round seven. Oh, fucking spawning in the ground again. I think BO1 definitely has some of, like, the best zombie... UI in all the COD games. I like how you can really manipulate the movement. Oh, boy. Speaking of movement this is gonna be oh this is gonna be tight oh okay we made it oh shit well oh here comes death there's no way oh <laughs> okay just a little flick of the wrist apparently saved my ass oh god and then i'm almost getting stuck there oh i shot him oh i'm slowed this isn't good oh my god and i'm somehow alive still this is what i mean dude this oh call of the dead is so chaotic but it's so fun oh my god Fine, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, hello, electrified zombies. Give me that M14 ammo. Where are you at, boy? Okay, kill you first, then you. The good thing is they do actually get stuck on George Romero a little bit. Oh, and they get fucking sped up again. Oh, run! Okay, we're good. Oh, that's the round. We're actually on round eight. This could actually be our best softening room on this game, not gonna lie. We just have such a big area here to train around, but oh god, with the fog. Kind of difficult to see what the hell I'm doing. Oh god, zombie movement. Oh, death machine! Oh, that's massive. Oh, that's huge. 
I mean, like, we could arguably use the death machine to try and put damage into George, but I don't think it's worth it. Go, pew, pew, pew. Starting to flicker, but this is getting us through a big chunk, and we've got an insta-kill. Oh my god. Animax. Just giving me all the drops right now, dude. Oh shit. Are you serious? I got double slapped by one singular zombie. That's just bloody typical, isn't it? And I'm wasting my valuable insta-kill. If I didn't have to reload, I think I would have been fine there. Uh, it is what it is, dude. I think we're going to get through to round nine. See, I see the zombie behind George. Can't quite shoot him. There we go. Oh, and that's the round. See? Hey, I knew it. Now we're tied. I have faith, dude. Oh, we just sped up the zombies. Oh, I need to buy Quick Revive again. I totally just forgot about that. Oh, shit. Ooh, move out the way. It's fine. I have faith, dude. We can do it. If I can just run through the fucking... Oh, no. We're just dead here. There's the... What am I supposed to do there, dude? Oh, shit. Try and get some shots up. Did I just shoot him? No, I don't think I did. Oh, fuck. I can't see anything. It's... Oh, this is going to be the end. This is going to be the end. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, I was so close as well. We've got 164 kills. That could actually be more than five. Okay, now we're on Shangri-La, so this is going to be interesting because this is by far my worst map on this game. Saying that, you know, we did get round four on Kino. I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop that, dude. I just cannot believe it. wonder if we'll get napalms in the spawn. That'd be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised. Doing this without any gobblegums or anything, though, is just, oh, terrifying. I've only played OG Shangri-La a couple of times and, oh my god, almost going down on round one. That's not. Where the hell is the M14? Here it is. Okay. We can technically get three perks from the monkeys, but that's going to be difficult because we have to trade out our max ammo for it and then get lucky with like being able to kill it when it has it because it rotates for drops, basically. It only works for max ammo. Well, I guess we'll see. For now, though, I mean, we'll just, we'll just stick to uh, the standard. Oh, a double points. Nice. I mean, I'd let them take it, but there's not really any point. But we do get extra points when we kill the monkeys when they're chasing you, but don't let them hit you. Something that I didn't know until I did that zombies tournament. Oh, and a max. I, why'd I take it? Why? I was literally just talking about it. Uh, fucking brain. So where the heck is this zombie? Oh, hello. There you are. Hiding in the bushes, are we? So yeah, uh, if I imagine if I didn't take that max and we just tried to get a perk there. Could have been game changing, man. Not gonna lie though, for Black Ops 1, like tw 2011, this map came out and it looks goddamn gorgeous. They just really did well with the saturation and like the overall aesthetic of the map, I guess. Oh, hello. Love when we just sneak up on you and don't make a single sound. Fuck off, zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do more videos like this where I play every single zombies map for a certain game or like maybe even every zombies game so we could do maybe I want to do like my favorite map from every single called zombies game including non-treyarch of course so for infinite warfare I'd probably pick like zombies in spaceland then for like black ops 4 I'd probably choose dead of the night because I really love that map I've just realized we haven't even bought the uh the Olympia yet I was thinking about keeping the m1911 because we could spam it a bit with insta kills but eh doesn't seem that worth it. It's doing like no damage, you know. Uh, speaking of like ammo though, we could do with buying some more. Here we go. Boom. Oh, head headless zombies. I'm gonna lose my mind. Every every map I play, dude, it's it's headless zombies everywhere. It's the fact they can still swipe you despite they can't see anything. Like, huh? Where is the logic, dude? Oh god, and there's me almost going down trying to get my quick revive back. Give me this shit. I do like how fast you can spam the M14 though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you can really do a happy trigger finger with this shit. I know on BO2 they kind of capped it a bit on PC because obviously, you know, with a mouse you can cap much faster. Oh, I made it to round five, to be honest, that's higher than I was expecting for this map. Oh no, I accidentally shot the monkey. Oh, whatever, dude. You know, I love monkeys in real life, but in this map, they are gremlins. I think it was when I was using the Mustang and Sally, to be honest. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but ridiculously large explosion radius. Oh, God, that's a napalm. Oh, I'll be honest. I didn't know he was right next to me. I saw the flame. I thought he was like over in the corner. <laughs> well, that answers that. We can get napalms on the starting room. Really was not expecting that, fucking hell. Oh, there goes all the quick revives. Bye bye, dude. Where's this last zombie at? Oh, here you are. Fuck off. I swear if he downed me then. That's the thing, in older zombies games, they really do double swipe you very easily. Oh my god, what does that zombie do? You see the way he was strafing then? What the fuck? Come on, don't troll me like this. Oh, don't get stuck. 
How is training here somehow working better than on other maps? Saying that, I actually would have kept going and I would have got through them. But I got an Insta. Okay. I mean, you know, honestly, that's not too bad. Ow, fucking monkeys. Oh, hello, Napalm. How's it going? Well, let's try and shoot this guy before he, uh... Oh my god, he sprints! I didn't know he sprints. I swear he doesn't do that on BO3. Stand near him. Run around the corner. Okay, we're good. Uh, that worked. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> now, I was considering going into, like, the actual space bit itself, but I thought Area 51 kind of makes more sense. This is literally where we spawn. I want it to be realistic. And we have Jug in the spawn, as well as Pack-a-Punch, that we could potentially get if we're skilled enough, which I'm not, but we'll see. Oh, phew, my god. Almost going down already. Shoot the dog immediately. Get the fuck out. Okay, so we just need, like, 300 more points. Oh god, don't get double slapped. Okay, we can afford Jug, but can we actually get it? Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that was close. But now we're completely out of our ammo. I didn't think about this. I was thinking more about, like, getting the perk. Oh god. Maybe we should have pack a punch first, or tried to. But we have grenades. Oh, throw that. Boom, okay. Are these all like one hit melee? They are. Well, we can slowly but surely get through all these. There's no way, dude. There's no way we're going to be able to afford pack a punch. I guess we could just try and knife only. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus. Let's try and grenade, actually. Or grenade. Oh, look at all those crawlers. Holy shit. Let's try not to accidentally teleport as well, because that would suck. Like the world's slowest thing in the world, but... Oh, that was a triple slap. Holy shit. Because it slightly lunges you forward as well, but that doesn't help. Each time that noise happens as well, the zombies get more and more difficult to kill. So we need to fucking knife them as quick as possible, ideally. We would actually have enough for pack a punch right now if we didn't have uh, Jug. But at the same time, it'd be extremely difficult to do this without Jug trying to knife them all. Ow. Oh my god. Red screen. Oh god. That was close. Oh, that was so close. Oh, and I, I still haven't recovered. Okay. Man, I wish I just went for pack a punch instead now, but the highest round, including kills, that we actually got on a starting room challenge was on five, which I was not expecting that at all. I mean, I guess it was because of the death machine and the insta kills and stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. I'll probably do more videos like this in the future. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.